Hello everyone, this is Azhar Khan, Coffee with Azhar Khan. I start with a very inspiration quote. Many people dream of success. To me, success can only be achieved through repeated failure and introspection. In fact, success represents 1% of your work which results from the 99% that is called failure said by Sochiri, Sachiro Honda, founder in 1906, founder Honda Corporation. Today, there's a very important and very good friend of mine who joined me, Coffee with Azhar Khan, Ian McCutcheon. He have right now working as a sales executive in QJS, I know before, I think two years back, he achieved the best business entrepreneur award from Ajax Pickering Board of Trade. Very passionate, very experienced. And one thing I always like about Ian, his consistency. Always say, good morning, how are you? Because you know that if you wait for the big things, it will not happen very quickly. But small, small, small things, make a big impact and it creates the character. I know since last two to three years, charity with hockey and different, but last one year, always Ian, call me, text me, how can I help you? And that's called a character. Welcome Ian, Coffee with Asar Khan. How are you? Oh, well, it's my, uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Uh... Azar, and uh, yes, I, I am having a coffee. <laughs> Thank you, and I have also a coffee here. We both are drinking virtually. Yeah. And I'm yep. very happy at last you are in my Coffee with Azar Khan show. Yes. Tell me about something about yourself, Ian, that uh, about yourself and a little bit about your, what you are doing nowadays, yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, so a little bit about me. Um, I've had uh, an interesting career in my uh, in my life. I, I uh, started off in, in banking. Uh, was one of my first jobs, a manager trainee of a bank. Uh, then I moved into uh, insurance adjusting. I was at a handled property, uh, auto injuries liability. Did that for almost uh, 20 years. Then I got into marketing and sales, which uh, was really my passion: grow, growing businesses providing great service and growing businesses. So I worked for two different disaster restoration companies uh, from 2006 until um, uh, I guess June of last year. And uh, I'm proud to say that I'm at a, a great company called uh, QJS Quality Janitorial Services Cleaning for Health. Uh, they also own a, own a company called The Property Guy and they've been in business for over 30 years. And uh, I just thought that uh, cleaning uh, is the way of the future. You know, we need to properly clean uh, our businesses, our, our homes. And, um, you know, so I thought with my experience and, and the company's experience, it was, a, it was a great fit. Yes. And Ian, we both are the members of Connecting GTA. So how do you join Connecting GTA, how you know about Connecting GTA. Can you tell me something about it? Yes. Well, I got to give credit to Angela from uh, Big Rig Raps. She said that, uh, Ian, you need to be a part of uh, Connecting GTA. Uh, and I want you to meet Suresh Kumar. So, um, you know, I met with uh, Suresh and I saw how passionate he was about this organization. And uh, he just said, you know, we're here to help you. We want to help you grow your business, uh, uh, get to know the members, uh, be active with the group, and uh, you will see some very, very good results. So I've uh, been with the group, uh, you know, just maybe uh, two and a half, three weeks. I've already seen the, the fruits of labor. Uh, I've seen some great, I've introduced myself to some great quality members. And I will continue to uh, support the group and add membership as well. And, uh, you know, when I found out that you were a member, um, I didn't have to think twice about joining. 
Thank you so much. Ian, you know, stories are very powerful. You are a very mature person. You are an award-winning business entrepreneur. Uh, community knows you. You have a lot of respect uh, as a very decent businessman and hardworking person. Yep. Can you tell our audience who are watching you, Coffee with Azhar Khan, any inspiration story, any success story you have? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, <clears throat> first of all, um, you know, we, you have to have the right mindset, you know, no matter what's going on in your life or the world, you have to, you have to have a positive mindset. Number one, uh, number two, you've got to, you got to surround yourself with good quality people. You know, they say the seven people you hang out with the most, you'll be the, the, the average of, of who they are. So um, I try to continually upgrade myself. Um, I try to read uh, motivational uh, books. Uh, I try to, to continue to learn from, from people that I look up to. Um, you have to have that never quit attitude. Um, you know, uh, another good term, uh, the fortune is in the follow-up. So uh, if you're in business, um, there's ups and downs. There's peaks and valleys. Um, you you can't get down and you can't get too overconfident. Stay on that even keel. Um, you got to be active. You've got to be out there. Whether it's uh, a LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, joining organizations such as GTA Connections. Uh, you can't go into hiding when you're not not feeling good or, or confident. You have to get up and keep fighting the fight. Uh, you have to have uh, reasons why you're working hard, you're passionate. <clears throat> and uh, I have a 21 year old daughter who is my, my passion. So when you set goals for yourself, you have to, uh, you have to see uh, you know, the, the end result. You have to get to the finish line. So uh, continually improve, continually work. It's a work ethic. Um, you have to have balance as well. You, you got to get your sleep. You've got to find time to get exercise. You got to eat properly. You got to manage your time properly. So, uh, those are, those are some, uh, key, uh, uh, points that I use. And, uh, I have mentors. I have people I look up to for, for information, for, for advice. And, um, um, you know, you just have to keep, uh, it, it's a, uh, it's a journey and take, take small steps. Don't try to get from the bottom to the top overnight or in a week or in a month, take your time, use your resources, uh, continually meet new people. Uh, there'll be, there are people that come into your life. You don't know why, but they give you advice or they put you in the right direction and, and take that, take that with a grain of salt. Very good. And just, just, yeah, just be positive. And Ian, uh, you know, we all go through with um, this coronavirus. Still, we are in a lockdown. Uh, I don't know. Man, it's very hard for people to, to manage it. What do you think that in coronavirus and this all COVID-19 uh, situation, what is your message to our youth? and to our small businesses or entrepreneurs, uh, what is how you take it and what you give your positive feedback to the small business who are watching us, Coffee with Azhar Khan? Well, I guess the advice that I would give is uh, don't quit, uh, don't get up, ask for help. Help is there. Um, we have to think positive. We have to think that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, some days are tough and, uh, you just have to have a good support group. And, um, uh, I'm a believer that things are going to get better. Um, I'm, I'm a positive thinker. I'm a positive believer. There is so much negativity when you turn on the news or you turn on the radio or social media, you have to, um, just believe the better days are going to happen. Uh, stick to your, your plan, 
and, and do not quit. And you can always reach out to, to members of our community. Um, and, and it's not afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for help. That's my advice. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you viewers who are watching me. Uh, today's uh, Coffee with Azhar Khan, you listen, Ian McEachin. Uh, you learn, I learn from him, and I think all of you agree with me, the belief, uh, hope for the better tomorrow, and resilience. He talk about uh, exercise, uh, positivity. Uh, and one of the leading business people, one of the habits they have, they wake up 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., the big all top uh, business people. And another very good thing, which I'm coaching, basically, I love to hear from his side, is continuous improvement, Kaizen. That if things not good today, if it's good for us to protect not only us and our family, but others also to not, but good things will come. You continue improvement, Kaizen, which I'm coaching, and all this positivity showing the personality of Ian, that what Ian is thinking, what Ian's advice to you. And I am very confident that who are watching Coffee with Azhar Khan, you take this small, small, small gifts, like in the Christmas tree, you know, that all these hanging uh, gifts, it, these are some of those gifts. Connecting to GTA is like a big tree and we have different branches, but each branch is unique and different. Each gift is different. And um, when you hear the positivity, when you hear continuous improvement, it make your mind positive and your body react positively and you do the positive thing. And surround yourself with the positive group like we have connecting GTA, which because this positive group always bring the positivity. Because first positivity in your mind and then your brain give the direction to your body to act. Uh, another thing I learned from Ian, the reason what you are doing. Anything you do, you should have a reason and then timeline. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you to my guest. Thank you to bring this positivity and I hope, let us know how you find Ian as my guest and what you learn. Uh, we all, uh, life is a learning process. I'm learning uh, and you are learning. And today we learn a lot from Ian. So thank you so much, Ian, uh, be my thank guest. You. Thank you so much for having me. It's a real pleasure and uh, continued success for everybody watching. And uh, again, just, just reach out, uh, the resources are there for you. Thank you. Thank you. So much.